Hey everyone. Welcome back to Multi Magic Channel. In our previous videos we introduced you to our awesome new interns. As you know they have just wrapped up their first sprint. So basically to be very honest, they did an incredible job by tackling their initial tasks with great enthusiasm and high skills. Now in this video we are diving into the sprint 2 where where I'll walk you through the tasks they they'll be working on and also I'll share some insights into their goals and I'll also give you a sneak peek at what's coming up in this module so stick around to see how they are leveling up what are the challenges uh, which are there in front of them and how they are going to contribute to our products in a big way now without any delay let's get into it so today we are going to discuss about this navigation builder module so in this sprint 2 the package what we are going to give them if they run that package they are going to land up with this screen uh, basically initially they are going to see a login screen right so I mean uh, to make this login screen I mean to make this login functionality more interactive uh, basically we don't we haven't yet implemented the backend so what we have done is we have implemented a mock API through which uh, they can test uh, the whole uh, client whatever they are working on okay so the process is first they have to run the mock API and then next they have to run this package then only they will be able to log in if uh, a mock API is not running behind the scenes they, they, they won't be able to log in okay so once they logged in they are going to see this page kind of uh, there will be a, uh, the default route path which we, we had set for them is the sample page and uh, here we have a hamburger menu and if a user clicked on this hamburger menu icon the sidebar get collapsed okay so but if you see this dashboard if you see this dashboard uh, I mean if you compare this dashboard with the sprint one's dashboard we have upgraded the dashboard uh, we have added some extra functionalities like full screen and settings button uh, where user can keep his own customizable settings and all and the layout has been pretty much see, uh, pretty the layout has been pretty much changed and also we also included our uh, product icon okay so these are the basic changes which we have done and uh, yep these uh, if they click on this navigation they are going to see this initial screen and as i told you that uh, we have implemented some settings uh, i mean settings also where user can keep his uh, one second okay where user can keep his custom settings okay so if a user clicked on this icon so what he is go what he is going to see is he is going to see a sidebar uh, from the right which will toggle and uh, i personally liked uh, i personally choose dark mode so that's why i clicked on dark mode and uh, i just wanted to show you how it looks like okay so with enough of these images let us go and play with this uh, dashboard and let us go and play with this settings button and all and let us try to get some uh, real feeling like how it feels actually yes so uh, it, it won't uh, one cannot visualize properly through images or through images itself so that is why let us go and play okay so yep there is a initial screen which they are going to see as we told that uh, initially he is going to uh, the default route which we had set for them is sample page so if I click on this navigation item so this is a screen which they are going to see where they I mean where you they have a simple tab that is sidebar and inside the sidebar they have header primary secondary tabs maybe we can change this header primary secondary uh, from tabs layout to another layout in future but uh, for now uh, first print to this is fine like a header tab primary tab secondary tab okay so here we have a uh, text field where user can just write something it has uh, it has nothing they have to implement this functionality okay uh, so yep here you you can see the beautiful mobile screen okay and if you see this 
this is a volume up button and this is a volume down button right so if i hover on this volume down button it adds some animations you know if if anyone is familiar with uh, uh, mobile development if if anyone is uh, familiar with how ios simulator looks like so ios simulator also gives something like this so what we thought is uh, why don't we keep something like this okay so this is how uh, the mobile screen looks like what they have to do is they have to add header controls uh, in this print and they have to make sure that those header controls will be visible will be rendered here okay let us go and play with this settings again so there is a light mode there is a dark mode and there is a contrast mode you can see the difference between contrast and the shadow you can see a, a, a kind of glow will be added behind the card in the contrast but if in shadow it, the, that glow or the shadow is not added okay so in the same way we can play with some colors custom colors where you can uh, choose your own color theme for your layout okay so this is a default uh, i mean the sidebar what you are seeing here is the default sidebar and if you want to compress it i mean if you want to make it small you can click on this the sidebar will get uh, will become small and after that the menu items whatever you are seeing here that is aligned vertically right so you can keep that as uh, horizontal uh, menu items also okay so let me revert back to the original layout okay so here we have this fluid section this container section uh, container section and also you can change the uh, fonts of the whole product okay so yep uh, these are the basic uh, settings which we have implemented in this print too uh, and one more interesting thing that is this full screen so if user clicked on this they i mean the whole layout will be in full screen this is quite interesting i really like this feature okay <coughs> so coming back to the tasks what they are going to do so the the task one is if you see this uh, actually they are in the navigation page right so but we what we kept here is uh, the bread crumbs it is showing inside the bread comes it is showing that it you are inside home slash sidebar right so what we want them to do is we want to add navigation in between so in future maybe we will add some more tabs here right so it should respond uh, with respect to all of this okay so basically this is a feature and uh, this is a page this is a home okay so all they have to do is they have to add this feature and they have to keep on updating uh, i mean they have to add this page and they have to keep on updating this page uh, this feature okay that is their first task and coming to the second task here we have this menu text right uh, i mean there is in uh, let me show you here this menu text i am speaking about this menu text so if a user enters something let us assume that a user entered something in this menu text okay so what should happen is i mean uh, there are some rules it should not uh, be more than five letters and uh, what we need is we have we had drawn a small box where he had to show the letters whatever the user is typing here it should be rendered automatically here and it should if let us assume if user is entering some 10 to 20 letters then it should not uh, it is not a valid input user should be able to enter only five maximum five letters maximum of five letters okay so that should be rendered here in this box okay and coming to the task three so the layout whatever you are seeing this one this box and this second box this is quite big right and this is quite small okay so what we want them to do is they have to make sure that Bo uh, both of the boxes align with the same size so that is the task 3 so that is what I have written here these both boxes should have the same size or else keep them in a single box that is optional uh, but uh, that is worst case option maybe let us keep that keep it as a worst case option uh, but uh, what we are going to fix for is they are going to 
uh, we will have two boxes with equal sizes okay and the most important thing is they have to make sure that this is always responsive okay so this uh, mobile screen whatever uh, they have implemented and we kind of we kind of polished it that's all but they have implemented the original mobile screen so they have to make sure that this is always responsive it should not get stringed and it should not get expanded i mean the height and the width always should be the same and uh, if you reduce the uh, size of the browser it should maybe you, what you can do is one can i mean they can shift that to the bottom of this card so that makes a bit of sense okay coming to the task 4 the task 4 is we have three tabs right we haven't discussed about what is there inside the tabs and also also so we have three tabs that is header primary and secondary so in header they, what they are going to do is they are going to implement a small card card this might be card or uh, we can also keep uh, accordion accordion we'll decide it later we'll decide that later whether we have to keep accordion or whether we have to keep card but at the right end of the card what they have to keep is they have to add a small switch okay where do they have to follow the styles from if if anyone if any uh, if if let us assume that you are going to build a house okay so you are going to build a house but while building a house you definitely make sure that your house uh, follows a particular theme and that theme is applied to the whole house right so in the same way in this product we also for we also wanted to follow the same theme right <clears throat> so while adding any controls they had to make sure that whether this control is uh, uh, is actually a perfect fit for this theme or not they have to make sure that uh, they have to take a review okay but where do they can uh, find the controls from how to how they will be able to understand that i have to keep this control exactly that i have to add this styling exactly to solve this problem what we have done is we have we had implemented another page that is documentation so documentation is a page where they can refer to the controls whatever we have uh, in this product so they can use this documentation uh, let us see a small example this switch okay so we have multiple types of switches okay so they had to uh, come and take the review that okay which type of switch we have to use okay how uh, we are thinking to use this type of switch so after multiple review sessions uh, what we are going to fix with one type of one styled switch and whether we wanted to use a card or accordion so based on this documentation they are going to use I mean uh, they are going to take this as reference if a user clicked on this uh, show the source they are going to see what is, what is a code snippet of this style or switch okay so they are going to take the reference from this and they are going to add the card and the switch icon here Okay, so that is their task 4 and coming to the task 5 here we haven't enabled the switch yet we disabled the switch right so if a user uh, enabled the switch let us assume if a user enabled the switch so after this uh, uh, the thing is I don't have uh, I mean the whatever I'm going to say I mean if a user uh, enabled the switch whatever the UI one should be able to see that is a bit uh, tough to uh, I mean demonstrate in this image itself so that is why I kind of uh, uh, drawn a particular separate image where one can correlate and understand that functionality what it is okay so let us assume that <coughs> user enable this switch okay so what should we have we should have a toggle button toggle button where do they have to refer this from the toggle button they have to go to the documentation and they have to check the buttons and these are the toggle buttons okay so these are the toggle buttons which i am going to which i am speaking so here you have web and you have here you have android right 
So what you have to do here is you have to add a toggle button that is text and image. If user clicked on text, what you have to do is you have to display a small text element here. Okay. And if a user enters any text inside the te uh, input field, what should happen? That should be displayed in the header. I mean, that is what we, we, we are solving here. Okay. So if a user entering, uh, if a user enters a text here, that will be displayed here, right? So for we are, uh, what we are doing is we are just adding some expansion for this uh, for this functionality. Why should we? Why should one have to keep the text only, right? So we can also keep an image. So that is why we kind of expanded this functionality to image. Okay. So instead of keeping a separate drop down and all, what we tried is so uh, we had to toggle buttons. So why don't we utilize that uh, toggle functionality, toggle button functionality, okay? So uh, we had previously discussed about this text, but let us discuss about this image, okay? Suppose if user clicked on this image option, what we have to show is we have to show an icon which is, uh, which resembles that uh, user should have to click on this icon to choose an image. Okay, and if user choose an image, okay, user clicked on this icon, user choose an image, and uh, that should be displayed here. What about this icon? There should be some stage for this icon, right? User clicked an image, okay, uh, user choose an image, and the image has been displayed, right? So this is a bit small, right? So what we have to show here is once user clicked on this icon it should automatically change to this and image should be displayed here. If a user clicked on this eye icon, that image should be expanded and uh, what we have to do is, we have to create a small box uh, or overlay overlay or pop-up or model, whatever it is. Uh, maybe model, we can fix for model because we have that model in the documentation. Let me check, I believe we have a document. Yes, we have a model. Open nested model, open basic model. See, we have a small model. Inside that model, they can render that image. So that uh, that actually helps. Uh, that uh, I mean, this documentation actually help uh, can help them to do the functionality even much better and in a smoother way. Okay, so we had implemented this uh, I that is preview, and beside that preview, we should also have a small icon that is that is a delay. It makes some sense, right? If user clicked on this delete icon, so obviously this image, whatever we have, that should be gone. I mean, that should be deleted. That should be removed from there. And uh, again, uh, again, you have to come back to the initial state that is click on this icon to upload an image, okay? So yeah, this is what the uh, functionalities they are going to work on. These are the five tasks they have for this print tool. Uh, hope they are going to perform with the same into and with uh, same skill set again in this sprint too also. So all the very best. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.